Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Feeling less confident in your financial future? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you why more control today creates confidence in tomorrow. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, the Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist and four-time author, Tony Walker. Do you know of someone you would refer to as a control freak? My high school sweetheart and now wife of more than 38 years, Susan, has on more than one occasion referred to me as a control freak, especially when I'm behind the wheel of a car. I can't tell you why, but I've always wanted to be in control while stuck inside a moving vehicle. Even as a young lad growing up in the 1960s, I can remember sitting in the front seat next to my father as he drove our family's 1967 Mercury Monterey and me barking out orders on how he should be driving. Oh, surprised that a loving father would allow his son to sit beside him in the front seat without a seat belt on? Hey folks, this was the 60s. So my constant instructions on how dad should be driving got so bad that he began to refer to me as his co-pilot. Oh, so you wanna drive, Tiger? Well here, take the wheel. Now look what you did. Fast forward to my 16th birthday when, by law, I moved from co-pilot to pilot as I climbed behind the wheel of my favorite birthday present of all time, Granddad's 1962 VW Beetle. Yes, folks, the same 62 VW Beetle that Uncle Eddie taught me to drive when I was only 14. I remember the excitement I had when on occasion, more than one occasion, quite frankly, we and Uncle Eddie would leave Granddad's house and when out of sight from Granddad, stop in the middle of one of those scenic country roads near Troy, Kentucky, and switch seats with me becoming the pilot and Uncle Eddie taking over as co-pilot. Hey, who needs driver's education in high school when you got Uncle Eddie to teach you when you're 14? You know, to this day, as my wife will attest, if given a choice between sitting in the passenger seat and feeling it out of control versus sitting in the driver's seat, I'll take being in control any day. Oh, speaking of sitting behind the wheel versus sitting in the passenger seat, I got a story to tell that's pretty funny. It's a story of an elderly couple pulling up beside another car at a stoplight. The older lady notices a young couple seated very close together in the car beside them and comments to her husband, look Harry, isn't that sweet? That couple is sitting so close together. Remember when we used to sit in a car just like that? To which Harry sarcastically responds, hey, I never moved. So what does a snotty-nosed kid acting as a co-pilot to a father behind the wheel of a 67 Mercury have to do with you being in control and more confident in your financial future? Well, let's find out. Well, welcome folks to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I am that financial control freak specialist and fiduciary, Tony Walker. And today we will conclude our series on the many C's to a worry-free retirement by reviewing the two most important C's of them all, control and confidence. But first, before I get behind the wheel to reveal the secret to a worry-free retirement, let me introduce not one, not two, but three co-pilots producing our program in the Louisville studios this morning. America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orander, Louisville, Kentucky's most laid-back graphics artist, Mr. Derek Hudson, and the newest member of the Worry-Free Productions team, Miss Meek and Mild Mary Beth Combs. Okay, there you sit, feeling out of control as you await the next stock market crash, out of control wondering when the price of gasoline and toilet paper will ever return to pre-pandemic price levels, and probably less confidence than ever before in how our country is going to pay back all of this debt we keep racking up. Oh, unless we forget the out of control feeling you must have just thinking about all the taxes you're gonna owe one day on that tax infested 401k that Wall Street kept telling you to max out over all these years. Well, stay tuned because when I return, I'm going to show you how to move from feeling out of control with your money 
to being in more control with it as we conclude our study of the many C's to a worry-free retirement. I'm Tony Walker. You stay tuned. I'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Are you a control freak? Well, let's be honest here. You and I know if forced to be a control freak versus being out of control, we choose to be in control. Yet to always be in control of every situation one might find themselves in is impossible. For instance, you might feel out of control over how much you'll have to hand over to the government one day when you take money out of that tax infested 401k you've been socking money into. You might feel out of control that the banks are paying next to nothing in interest for the use of your money. Might feel out of control as to when and if the next stock market dive is going to take place, which usually happens about every seven years. And finally, the feeling of being out of control as our friends in Washington spend and borrow our way towards more and more inflation. Don't believe me? Just head over to the gas pumps as we have to pay an arm and a leg to fill up our gas tanks. So why am I so confident that more and more savers are feeling more out of control than ever before? Because each and every day, they tell me so. Folks, unlike a lot of financial pundits and financial entertainers who really don't work directly with savers, I do. And to prove my point, I asked our own Shanna Petty, who sets up all of my appointments, to confirm how many people I've seen through this year alone, and already that number tops 1,225 savers. And you know what they're all looking for? More control over their money and their future. So how can you get that feeling of being in more control? Well, you first have to take charge of the things you can control. And here's a few things to get started. First, decide for yourself how safe you want to play it with this money and stick to the plan. With savers, what I've discovered is that the more you have in a safe position, the more you're gonna feel in control. Number two, Assuming you are okay with putting some of your money at risk, determine the level of risk and how much of a percentage of money you want at risk. Our money management platform at Tony Walker Financial will help you do this. Our role is to help savers determine their level of risk, then we choose the investment portfolio that we feel best matches their risk score. And we do all of this at a very, very low fee, about half of what most money managers charge to do the same thing. Number three, take charge by working with someone who is a fiduciary. Not sure if the person you're working with or talking to is a fiduciary, then you gotta ask them to provide this form called Form ADV Part Two. If they won't provide you this form, chances are they are not a fiduciary and sadly are not obligated to work in your best interest. We are. In fact, besides myself, we have three other salaried fiduciaries whose main job is to be sure that you are taken care of both now and long after Tony Walker is dead and gone. And finally, before we ever purchase any financial product, we need to make sure to take charge of our situation by demanding, I mean this now, demanding something in writing from the financial advisor before you invest. Oh, speaking of one of our three salaried fiduciaries, I thought it would be good to turn to our own Heather Hughes a fiduciary who knows a thing or two about our process that we share with our clients and why so many of our clients are more confident in their future than ever before. Well, good morning, Heather. Good morning, Tony. How are you today? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for being with us. And as we talked, our theme is how to get more confidence in your future by being in more control. And what I wanted you to do is speak briefly to two issues that we have come up. First of all, a lot of times after I spend time with a client during that second meeting where I provide their assessment, 
in many cases, you'll follow back up with them. So speak to, I guess, first of all, how appreciative they are that we follow up, but any confidence they might be sharing with you about our process as they learn more about what we do at Tony Walker Financial. Oh, absolutely. So typically I follow up within one to two weeks of them meeting with you uh, just to check in to see if they have any questions over the plan you presented. But some of the feedback that I always get is that one, they've never really seen a game plan laid out for them for retirement. And so that's always new and they appreciate all the effort and work we've put in prior to that. And then two, that the fact that they're no longer a number. So we're checking into them to see their, you know, how they're doing, if they have any personal questions on all of that, they need further explanation. I'm there to, you know, hopefully alleviate some fears or any kind of uh, questions that they may have. Oh, you're so helpful in that regard. Thank you so much. And then secondly, let's imagine somebody decides to join the ranks with Tony Walker and Financial and become a client and three years goes by and we're servicing their accounts and everything. But then all of a sudden something changes. Maybe there's something that happens in their retirement nobody could plan for. And then hopefully the confidence they feel when they call us knowing we can call up that game plan and jump into action. Absolutely. So, you know, one thing's for sure is life changes. So with our proprietary software, we're allowed to make those changes, tweak their plan as things come up. So it may be they retire sooner than anticipated, they get an inheritance, you never know. So, you know, we're allowed in that software to make the changes to accompany whatever they're going through with life right now. And we talk about this a lot. Can you imagine if we didn't have that proprietary software? I know when you started years ago with me, you had to do those long spreadsheets, but speak to also the fact that people, at least the feedback I get, and I know you get it too, but just how easy it is for them to finally understand what it is they have and then how they're going to use and enjoy this money. Oh, sure. So, you know, they finally have something on a one page that's like lists all of their assets, when to start accessing funds from which account, and it all makes sense to them. And then they can kind of see the end result too. You know, that's one thing that we always strive for with retirement planning, we don't want them to run out of money. And so this is a way for them to see that we can actually accomplish that goal for them. Well, speaking of confidence, Heather, it allows me, you know, I see a lot of people each week. I think as we record this show in mid-November 2021, I think I got 40 appointments this week or something. But believe me, it helps me so much to know that we have the people like yourself and Trey and Wes and all the staff that can be there for them. So first of all, I just appreciate you so much being there for our clients and uh, all of the service work that you oversee there in the Bowling Green office. So thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, have a good day. Thanks, you too. Take care. Will do. So if you aren't feeling in control of your money and your future, if you feel less confident about your money than ever before, let's talk. To get started learning more about Tony Walker Financial, all you do is log on right now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and click on that Let's Get Started. Or if you like, simply call the toll-free number on your screen. Well, when we return, an interesting Tony in the Trenches and more on how to put confidence in your financial future by gaining more control over it. I'm Tony Walker, you stay tuned, I'll be right back. Warning, a licensed insurance agent with no prior knowledge of annuities can legally toss your 401k into an annuity. Don't get stuck in the wrong annuity. Get a second opinion from TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Welcome back to the Worry-Free Retirement. Our Tony in the Trenches goes something like this. Steve from Louisville asks, Tony, on one of your past episodes, you talked about one way to beat inflation, and that's by spending both your principal and the interest. You quoted an annuity paying a guaranteed rate of 5%. How can an annuity guarantee that high of a return? Well, first of all, very good question, Steve. We got to remember insurance companies that issue annuities are not in the business of speculation as is Wall Street, but rather in the business of guarantees. So how can they guarantee you won't run out of money through financial scientists called actuaries is how they do this. These folks called actuaries are employed by the insurance companies to be sure that they earn a decent rate of return on your money. These folks study how long people might li live 
And then they take the investments of the insurance companies, which are very, very conservatively invested, and then they calculate how long they can pay, you would be called the annuitant, an amount of income for the rest of your life. So in order for an insurance company to guarantee 5%, what they are really doing is paying you out both the principal and the interest. It's not like they're going to actually pay you 5% interest like a bank CD. Now, a lot of annuity peddlers won't tell you this, nor do they even understand sometimes how these annuities work, which is pretty scary. So what I thought I would do for Steve and for those of you interested in this, I'm going to cover exactly how an annuity can guarantee in this example 5% and the concept of you wanting to take out the principal and interest. So let's take a look at this. So what we did, we took a 65 year old, that means husband and wife, so a married couple, and we assume they've both retired, and this person has $300,000 in their 401k plan, okay? And their two main goals are this. They've said, Tony, we want maximum, notice this, I'm gonna underline it, guaranteed income. So again, that word, when we're using our Charles Schwab platform, for instance, we can't even use the word guarantee. In fact, it's funny how people give all these seven and eight, nine percent assumed rate of returns. Well, if you look closely, Wall Street has to tell you that past performance has nothing to do with future performance. In other words, there's no guarantees. Well, with an annuity, there is. The second thing these folks wanted, they wanted to make sure on a guaranteed basis, they wouldn't run out of money. So again, if those are your two main goals, you're gonna to have to have some money in an annuity because that's the only way to do it. Oh, by the way, if you'd like to go to our website at TonyWalkerFinancial.com, I encourage you to download Annuities Made Easy. This is a book I've written. Folks, I've written about as many annuities as anybody in the country. I've used these products for years and years. I know them very well. So TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on that Downloads button and download a free copy. If you don't have access to the internet, just call the toll-free number on your screen Tell them you'd like us to mail you a copy of Annuities Made Easy. I think you'd be glad you did. So how does this all work then? What is the insurance company doing and how in the world can they guarantee that? Well, we're going to imagine this is a bucket of money, okay? It's got money in there. And this is, represents the 300 k that you put with the insurance company. So the insurance company, you write them a premium. You roll over your 401 k or whatever. It's really not an investment. It's called a premium and it goes in this bucket. Now, here's where the science comes in. There is no way of knowing if you and let's say your wife, how long you're gonna live. I mean, one of you could live to 100, 110, we don't know that. But with a lot of accuracy, because they have so many insureds, these insurance companies do, thousands and thousands of insureds, they know pretty much to the T how many people are gonna die in any particular year. So what they're doing is they're sending you that income, let's call it 15,000. And the way this particular insurance company, this is just an example, there's different rates for different companies. What their actuaries have determined is, okay, Tony, you bring us two 65 year olds and they give us $300,000. We've determined on a guaranteed basis, these are called payout rates, folks. They are not interest rates, okay? We can pay out to those two people for the rest of their lives, even if one of them dies, 5% of 300 or $15,000 a year, and here's the kicker, for the rest of their life. Now, that's pretty strong. Uh, again, Charles Schwab, nobody can sit there and say that without an annuity. They can't guarantee it. They might say, well, try to pay you $15,000 a year. But what could happen because you're using the principal? Well, let's say we don't earn but uh, 2% over here in this bucket. At some age down the road, okay, that bucket is going to run out of money. It's not going to last forever like an annuity. So as you look at this, you say, well, Tony, why is it when I'm on the Internet or I'm listening to a lot of these folks on Wall Street, they do hate annuities. They don't like these products. I don't understand why you're so in love with them. Well, first of all, these are built for savers, folks, okay? You have to understand a lot of people out there giving commentary to annuities, either one, don't really understand these products, but more importantly, these investor types do not understand how safe you wish to play it. They think everybody wants to take as much risk as they do. And what happens is the saver out here is left to be just kind of thrown to the wind to see what's going to happen. We don't want to do that with all of our money. Yeah, we might do it with some of our money, but not all of it. So we want to make sure that some money that you have, and this could be money you've got in the bank, it could be a 401k plan, 
Uh, it could be a lump sum pension you're thinking about rolling over, a former IRA, it doesn't matter, an inheritance. We want to make sure if you're a saver that you've got some of your money push it, positioned into an annuity that can guarantee you an income for the rest of your life. Now, we might be sitting here saying at this point, we might be saying, okay, Tony, this is all well and good, but how do you get back into control? What are some other things I can do, not just with annuities, but to have more control in my financial future? Well, I'm going to show you something I learned from one of my mentors, Mr. Bob Castellone. So let's take a look at that right now. So one of the things Mr. Castellone used to always say, before making any investment of any sort, be sure that the investment provides three things. I love this. The first thing is use of the money. Secondly, we want maximum flexibility, meaning you can get access to your money when you need it. And finally, the key word we've been using, control. Now, what would that be of control of taxes, for instance, control over risk, control over hefty fees charged on your money, and of course, control over insurance premiums. So how do we at Tony Walker Financial put you in more control? Well, we do that through a five-step process called the Worry-Free Retirement, but more importantly, we do that through something called the Split IRA concept. So on the whiteboard, what I was covering is this right here. In most cases, folks, we don't put all of your money into the annuities. The annuities are there to provide a backstop. They're the, they're the instrument that's gonna provide to make sure that you don't run out of money and that your principal is not at risk. Now with the Charles Schwab platform over here, this is really cool because the Charles Schwab platform gives you maximum use, maximum flexibility, so that when you need your money or when things come up you didn't plan, we can get that Charles Schwab money out to you lickety split. In fact, what we do at Tony Walker Financial, we have it all linked up to a checking account. We get everything set up. We can send you a monthly recurring amount out of there. If you have an emergency, you can call us. Only takes a few business days to get that sent over to you. But more importantly, we're there trying to make sure you have access to the money. But we have to remember, we have to somehow control the environment, and that's why we want those annuities on the back end. We don't want to get down the road in 20 or 30 years and this bucket's run dry and we're out of money. So if you're sitting there saying, Tony, I don't have anything like this. I got a basket of funds or I got an annuity. I, I am lost. How can I get organized here? Well, you need to call the toll-free number on your screen or right now just simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and click on that Let's Get Started button and we'll be there to help you. Okay, better grab onto your spiritual steering wheel now because when I come back, a lot of scripture in the Bible about being in charge versus being in control. Some real good stuff coming your way. Let me get a cup of coffee for this one. I'll be right back. With the stock market at all-time highs and our nation's debt through the roof, there's a lot of uncertainty out there. Now may be the best time to safeguard more of your 401k. Let's get started today by logging on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Until today's program, you may have never thought about the difference between being in charge versus being in control. Well, God has. In fact, God's Word speaks in great detail of those who are in charge versus those who are in control. Yet as much as we would like to think we are in control, there's another fellow out there that loves to be in charge and he's called the devil. And believe me, he's up to no good. Take a look at 1 Peter 5, 8, where it tells us that we are to be sober-minded. Now, why is this? That's because our adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. That's right, folks. The devil is not just trying to mess with you. He wants to destroy you. Further evidence of the devil's desire to destroy us, King David describes it this way in Psalm 10, 9. He lies in wait like a lion in a thicket. He lurks to seize the oppressed. He catches the lowly in his net. Doesn't sound like someone I'd like being in charge of the world's order, but he is and has always been from the time God placed man and woman in charge of the Garden of Eden. There he was, the devil. He was sitting there trying to switch seats so he could get behind the wheel. And how does he take charge of our lives? By tempting us with our desires that are in our hearts, which is to be in control like God. So you can see it right there in Genesis 3:5. And as cunning as he is at getting us to turn over the wheel to him, there's good news, and that's this. He's got to get God's permission first. Take a look in Luke 22, 31, where Jesus says to Peter, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has demanded permission to sift you like wheat. Do you see that? 
In order for Satan to have his way with Peter, he must first go through God. Job 2, 3, look at this encounter with God and the devil where God asks, where have you come from? To which Satan replies, from roaming around, walking around. Well, then the Lord says to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? In other words, we are reminded that it is God who is in control of the things of the universe, not the devil. Now, the devil can only be in charge, but not in control, and there's a huge difference. But why, Tony, would God allow for us to be tempted by someone who wishes to destroy us, and how do we resist his temptations? Well, first, I believe God allows for the devil to tempt us, so it will test our faith in God. Second, temptation reminds us to always be in prayer, not only for ourselves, but for others. Take a look at Luke 22:32, where Jesus prays that Peter's faith will not fail, and once he endures the temptation, he expects Peter's to take his faith and encourage others. And finally, Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, that no temptation has seized you except what is common to man, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond that which you cannot bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide you escape, it further says, so that you can stand up under it. So know this, Christian, as long as you can still fog a mirror, you will be tempted by an adversary who wishes to wreck your faith in God. But the good news is we have God that is in complete control and has given you the very spirit to combat the temptations that are going to come our way. So the next time you feel as though things are out of control, take charge by remembering who is truly in control and how he has equipped you to take charge of the cho choices you're going to have to make. Amen? Well, speaking of making choices, are you at a point in life where you feel you need to make some choices about life and money? Maybe you're that person that is truly burned out at work and wanting to know if and when you can retire. Maybe you're that person who is ready to start taking some winnings off the table with this high-flying stock market that really seems too good to be true. How about this? Maybe you're that person who is ready to start using and enjoying some of this money you've worked so hard to save before it's too late. Well, if that's you, might I remind you that you are in charge of the next step, and that's contacting me, Tony Walker, at no cost or obligation. For the past 37 years, I've made it my life's mission to help savers worry less about money, and we do that with our proprietary process I call the Worry-Free Retirement. So if you don't feel like you're in control of your money and your future, if you're feeling a little scattered with no written game plan and an advisor that's in your corner that you can trust, do this right now. Either call the toll-free number on your screen or simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. That's TonyWalkerFinancial.com and click the Let's Get Started button and we will make that happen. TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Well, we've certainly enjoyed being with you today. We hope you've enjoyed this program, but you remember between now and next week, if all else fails, you be worry-free. Make it a good one.